Welcome back to another episode of the e-learning series on GFSM, the Government Finance Statistics Manual. In this episode, I'll introduce you to the GFS concept of government revenue. I'll discuss the definition of revenue, give a couple of examples, and provide an overview on the main groups. Suppose the Finance Ministry is preparing a table of government revenue components for a budget statement. While preparing the statement, the Finance Ministry staff reviews cash inflows such as the repayment of loans, royalties from mining, or inflows from taxes, fines, or licenses. Perhaps there are also inflows from donated assets by foreign governments, a privatization, or from investment gains following a stock market boom. As it reviews the estimates, the staff first needs to identify the inflows that are classified as revenue. Inflows not classified as revenue will relate to investment and financing, transactions in assets and liabilities. The GFSM definition of government revenue will help. Revenue refers to transactions that lead to increases of net worth. Remember that net worth is equal to total assets minus total liabilities, or put differently, net worth is the residual between the two. The definition implies that revenue adds to the value of government assets or it reduces the value of liabilities. Financing or investment, in contrast, do not affect net worth. This is because they affect assets and liabilities in a way that leaves net worth constant. One important caveat is that revenue only results from transactions with other parties. Holding gains are not considered revenue. With this in mind, let's look at the examples. When considering the transactions related to taxes, fines and licenses, the staff has an easy time. Clearly net worth increases because they lead to an increase of cash receipts, which are assets, and thus net worth, revenue is recorded. The same applies to royalties from mining. The donated asset causes some debate because some staff do not see a cash inflow. Indeed, there was no money involved in this transaction, but the foreign government transferred the ownership of the asset as a donation to the government. Assets increase and therefore a net worth increase is recorded. The transfer of the donated asset counts as revenue. The privatization proceeds also stir some debate because many staff are inclined to interpret this as profit and thus revenue. But here, the GFS definition settles the debate quite easily. One type of financial assets increase, the cash received from the sale, but at the same time, another type of assets, shares in the public corporation, are sold. Thus, a so-called financial transaction is recorded, the disposal of a financial asset in exchange for the receipt of another financial asset. Net worth remains unchanged. No revenue is recorded. It's the same story with the repayment of the loan. While the inflow increases financial assets, a respective loan asset is reduced or extinguished. Net worth is not affected. Finally, we have the investment gains following a stock market boom. Net worth has increased because of holding gains in the equity. However, as long as the assets are not sold, no transactions take place, no revenue is recorded. Now, suppose the government sells these equity holdings and creates a cash inflow. Still no revenue is recorded because one asset is exchanged for another. However, the holding gain will be recorded elsewhere as an other economic flow. Determining the recording of various types of transactions has important implications. Distinguishing between revenue and financing affects key analytical measures, such as the government's deficit or surplus, and by definition, net worth. Once the staff has finished sifting through all of the budgets and has determined which inflows are considered revenue, they can start compiling the revenue table. For this, GFSM provides a detailed classification scheme according to economic types of transactions. The GFSM presentation allows for meaningful analysis of individual revenue components and international comparisons. Let's look briefly at this classification scheme. There are four main groups of revenue, taxes, social contributions, grants and other revenue. Taxes are compulsory, unrequited amounts receivable from institutional units. Taxes are subdivided into six main groups and a number of subgroups, allowing for very detailed analysis and comparisons. GFSM provides guidance on classifying individual taxes based on what the tax is levied on, the tax base. Examples are distinguishing taxes from licenses and explaining taxes on income, property, goods and services and international trade. Social contributions constitute an important category. These are split by type of scheme and payer. Social security contributions are classified as revenue for social security schemes that only government units operate. 
Other social contributions are classified as revenue for social insurance schemes operated by employers on behalf of their employees. Social contributions do not include contributions for employment-related pensions and other retirement schemes. Such contributions create a liability in GFSM, so they're not affecting net worth and are accordingly recorded as a financial transaction. Although social contributions and taxes are both compulsory, there is an important difference. Taxes offer the taxpayer nothing directly in return. However, the payers of social contributions receive a form of insurance as they are entitled to receive social benefits, such as unemployment or health benefits, under predefined conditions. This is why these are grouped separately. Grants refer to transfers in cash or kind from foreign governments, other government units or international organisations. These may be ongoing or one-off, in other words, current or capital grants. The transfer of the donated asset, for instance, will be recorded as a capital grant in kind. Other revenue combines revenue not classified as taxes, social contributions or grants. Subgroups include property income, such as interest, dividends, rent or sales of goods and services. This category also includes administrative fees, such as those related to the issuance of driving licenses or passports, and income from fines and penalties. Let's summarise. Revenue refers to transactions involving another party and increasing net worth, increasing assets or reducing liabilities. We have seen that some revenue has no cash impact and some cash payments are not recorded as revenue. Classifying revenue is an important exercise to determine the impact on government deficit or surplus and to have data that are comparable over time and across countries. And remember, there are two things in life you can't avoid that life ends eventually, and right, taxes. So better use GFSM to record them correctly.